Today I'm going to show you how I took this Ajax team and turned it into this Ajax team, all while using the Johan Cruyff Perfect 3331 we posted yesterday. It's a big rebuild, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So Ajax, a team that speak for themselves, got a really good reputation, great training facilities, good youth, and of course, fantastic youth recruitment. Now the challenge of today's video, we're going to go down more of a tactical rebuild on this occasion. Of course, it's a team that has won an absolute ton of trophies already. We're going to aim to add another Champions League in that cabinet and hopefully a couple more Dutch league titles as well. Now, as mentioned, we are going to be using this tactic here, Cruyff's 3-3-3-1 we posted yesterday, and I'm going to show you what I do over the game over four or five seasons, what I look for in players, how I change tactics, what I personally do to make sure you can be doing the same back home. Now, I've gone through the player roles, I've gone through the team, and this is my best 11 from what I think. Now, what I will say is there are some things about this tactic that we posted, which I have got to try and alter for this team, maybe. So, for the likes of Hato, at the moment, he is going to be dribbling more on the left-hand side. Side, but obviously he's a young player, 17 years of age. His dribbling isn't too good. It is at 10. So we're going to see how he does. We're going to watch some highlights back, see if he is making errors on the ball. And if so, we are going to like sort of eliminate that player instruction. Now, overall, the team we've got on paper is very, very good. And if we go over to the squad, for example, we can see here by the age, we've got some absolute ballers. We've got to have Hato, we've got Gabriel, we've got David, we've got Axel Dongan, we've got Borje, we've got some real good players. Univar is a really big player I love to bring in if and when I can. We've got Ren We've got some really good players. Honestly, I'm hoping over some time we can sort of win them a Champions League, possibly. But like I said, we are going to use this tactic. No signings are going to be made. One thing I will say is, obviously, with this tactic, the complete forward, for example, is going to be a player who should be linking up the play, playing at side to side. And Broby can do that. He can play comfortably as a complete forward. His passing does need some work, and so we are going to work on that because it is a real big part of this team, sort of having a complete forward that can pass the ball, good at position and quite good at dribbling. So again, maybe work on his dribbling a little bit because the harsh reality is now we are doing tactics as rebuilds I need players that can fit my system if they can't fit the system they are going to be getting sold and it's as simple as that now the likes of Bergvine and obviously Berghaus are both going to be on pass at shorter and luckily Bergvine has got decent passing 13 passing is good he's quite quick on the ball really good dribbler of the ball again to suit this Cruyff system we need good dribblers on the ball and luckily both of these lads can do that good passing out of Berghaus as well good dribbling as well at 14 you don't even need to be that quick to play in this system that I'm playing, so that is completely fine. Now, what is really good is we have got a shadow striker, so ideally, Akpom has and will have great finishing at 15, so we need a player always in that position who has got at least 12 finishing plus to really try and get some goals from that area. The midfield talks for itself. Jordan Henderson is going to be in DM because his tackling is good. He's got good teamwork, good work rate. He can play that role quite well, and also has got a decent pass if and when needed to do so. Taylor suits central midfield player very very well because he's just incredibly well balanced doesn't necessarily stand out in loads of things but he's good at a little bit of everything so to suit a central midfield player that works really well and of course van der Boomen, a player who is really really high requested very sought after player an incredible player in the game suits this very well he's very good when it comes to the passing he's got good determination good corners good first touch good everything for that sort of cam in behind set piece sort of vibe in the mazala role which exactly is what i want him to be doing so so we've got a very strong team obviously going into the first season. What we've done is we have got the player in the middle as wrench on defend. The libero is going to push out a little bit, so I have put the most comfortable player at the back in that role because he is going to be pushing forwards. Now, we are all going to be playing a shorter passing style, as you can see here. So hopefully... Hopefully, we don't become one of them teams that has all the ball and no results. But if you are going to play this back at home, you would have had a budget of £30 million. Pounds. Now, of course, the staffing situation is quite brutal. So I've brought in one director of football and assigned him to do everything. So let's get into the end of season one. I'm going to predict a first place finish in the Dutch League. Europa League, I'm going to go with a semi-final and Dutch Cup will win that as well. I'm going to be correct for the Dutch League. We are going to win it, but only by two points and that is against Feyenoord, who enjoyed a very, very strong season. So credit is due where it comes to them because they pushed us all the way to the end. Unfortunately, knocked out in the round of 16 in the Europa League against PSG. Who would have thought we'd match up against them? That's an unfair fixture. And again, the Dutch Cup, Feyenoord come in and sort of do us over in that one. So it's going to be one trophy out of what I imagine to be a couple, but it's still it is a first good entry season and of course going over to the squad we are going to be looking right now at 26 goals for van der Boomen. so me picking his position and his player role down to a t has paid off big time 26 goals 15 assists broby really contributing well to that complete forward 
24 goals and 12 assists, 21 and 12 for Akpom, Berghaus 20 and 15, Kenneth Taylor 13 and 9. Um, Univar did have a great season out on loan, which is a little bit worrying, but I'll give him a shot when he gets back at the club. Overall, some really good performances. Bergvine 6 and 17, they are really playing into this system, and it is a system a lot of these players can play, so hopefully we can bring in a few more heads to sort of bolster that up a little bit. But going over to the finance department, we are going to be limited to 31 million pounds, which isn't a lot, but it is the Dutch League in the first season, so it is to be expected. Now, looking at this team right now, if we go and filter it by the best 11 to make sure, obviously we have got injuries in there. That is not going to run. Um, that will not run at all. I do not want Henderson in that position. Um, let's get Van der Boomen back in. We can bring in better options pretty much across the team. Some more midfield options, maybe some more centre-backs as well. But the real option I want to do is go out and find a player I really think can fit this complete forward role as a backup to Brian Broby. Now, what I'm going to do in these videos from now on is have a little bit more of a tactical and transfer approach. So I've actually gone to the effort to go to the scouting, go to the shortlist, and these are some players I want to bring in. The first one is going to be Lucas. Coming in from Lille, we need a goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper is like 35 at the end of the day, and we can get this guy in hopefully for a cheap price and he can become the first team goalkeeper over upcoming years. The same goes to Nubel. Again, another option. Might end up being a little bit more, but a really good option there coming in from Stuttgart. And also, we've gone out and looked at some other positions. Centre-backs, as we mentioned. Tilo Cahair coming in from Monaco. Now, this is a player who doesn't look incredible, incredible, but has got that passing, that ball-playing quality I want to be seeing. And hopefully, he can come in potentially if we can get him. We're not going to land all of these players, but it is quite fun to do a little shortlist and go over the exact sort of caliber of players I'm looking for. Now, ideally, we are going to bring in this lad, LaCroix, because he's got good passing, but also everything else about him is really good. He's very quick, which is handy for a wide centre-back, because they are going to obviously be staying wide, coming back inside a lot of ground to be covered. That would be the dream signing, but it might be a bit unrealistic, considering he's quite a fair bit of money, which goes for the same as Nianzu. Again, a very good player. He wouldn't be as favoured as the likes of LaCroix, in my opinion, but it is what it is. But over the entire list right now, this is the man I want to bring in. I've done a lot of research and Adam Holzek suits a complete forward backup quite well. He's very well balanced and I feel, again, he's not better than Broby, but we need a good backup option that I think he can come in and play very similar. And it is going to be Adam Holzek and he doesn't actually appear to be costing that too much either. But if we can't land him, we are going to go over and try and pick up Lorenzo Colombo from Salanto. Obviously, another player who might not look the best of the best, but for a backup option... It's going to be a very strong choice. So we're going to take this 30 million pounds, try and bring in two of these players. Hopefully, let's get into season two. We are going to wave goodbye to Francesco Gonzi Sal. He is going to go to FC Porto for a total fee of 8.5 million. Of course, he wasn't alone there and he has decided to join permanently. It's a shame because he looks like a decent player. We've landed our man in goal. That is going to be Lucas coming in from Lille. And hopefully, this is a player he is happy to sort of sit on the bench for now and become first team after a couple of years in this save. He did set me back only £15 million, pounds, which I think is quite an acceptable amount of money to be paying for a goalkeeper like this. And again, for now, back up. And he sent me back a total of 28 million, or 26 million, should I say. But we did land LaCroix. Coming in from Wolfsburg, the man I wanted. He's got fantastic passing, good tackling. He's quick, good aggression, good determination. He pretty much is everything I want. Also decision-making, very vital for a player who is playing in a back three. Who needs to decide if he's staying out wide, coming inside. He needs to be good at that aspect of the game. And he is going to be the perfect man to welcome in to Ajax. Third sign, and I did manage to land Adam Holzek. The man I wanted as backup from Bayer Leverkusen for 8.7 million, the sort of fees I'm happy to be paying for a backup striker. He's just going to be a very good backup to Brian Broby. The likes of Sky Vink, I am aware he exists. He doesn't really fit into this system 100%, but someone like Adam Holzek, I think, can be a good backup option because he's more of a supportive striker. You know, he's got the finishing in him, but also he can do a little bit of everything, as you can see by the attributes. And the team now looks a little bit like this. So it is going to be featuring like this. And I have done a couple of things. So, for example, the goalkeeper remains the same, as does this back line. I have taken off Dribble more with Hato because he is a player who does struggle quite in that department. I'm going to train him personally, get the dribbling up a little bit, hopefully. But for now, we are going to remove it because I think it was causing a few issues last season. The DM is going to remain in the team on support and it is going to be Manswerk stepping into that role, which is going to be quite interesting. Obviously, we've got the likes of Taylor in midfield, Van der Boomen, we've got Berghaus, we've got Akpom, we've got Bergvine, and we've got Holzek. Don't worry, he's not going to be starting. I'm just showing how the team looks like with Holzek in there. But of course, it is going to be... Big 
boy Brian Broby getting the game time. Now, the addition of LaCroix in this team, who can be dribbling more because he has got it in his locker, I think this is going to be a really strong back line now. We've definitely improved the team. On the bench, we've got some really good players now. We've got Ruli, we've got Sotalo, we've got Kaplan, we've got Holzek, we've obviously got Borhe, who is a player I want to try and get into the mix of things, but he's not I want to give him a chance, but I'm not going to lock him in because I want the whole team to get a shot at playing. But hopefully he can develop because I quite like the look of him, to be honest with you. Um, we've got Univar, a player who I absolutely love. Absolutely think his quality. Hopefully we can get the best out of him because there is a player in there and he does suit the system quite well, to be fair. So hopefully we can get some game time out of him. Of course, Van Axel Dongan is a player who will get his shot potentially, but it's one of them where we've got very good wingers at the moment. So if he gets game time, he gets it. If he doesn't, I can't do too much about it. Now, in in terms of in possession and things like that, what I have done is I've kept it as similar as what I can. So you can see the in possession here, you can see the in transition here, and the out of possession here. Now, this high defensive line might be getting dragged down to a standard if we keep conceding a fair few amount of goals. But what we're going to do is we are now going to go into the second season. We are playing in four competitions the Dutch League, the Champions League, the Dutch Cup, and the Johan Cruyff Shield. And they are predicting the finish of first place. So let's try and actually go and win back to back the titles. So we are going to match up against AZ in the Dutch Cup final. We did beat final to get here and we got off to a very good start with Berghaus coming in with a goal in the 13th minute. And you are going to see with this tactic how fluid the movement is. The options are unreal as Henderson gets a goal in the cup final. And we go again. Unfortunately, we do lose the ball quite high up the pitch there. And it is going to be a very good finish from Smith for them. But we come back. We win the cup final in 3-1 fashion. Bergwijn, fluid movement inside into Broby. That's trophy one. We also come out and win the Johan Cruyff Shield at the start of the season against Feyenoord in 4-1 fashion with Broby scoring two of those goals. Unfortunately, everything else didn't go as planned. So the Champions League, you can see there didn't go too well. These two don't really mean too much, but the Dutch League, we are not going to be winners in. We're going to be second place by two points. So Feyenoord getting their revenge right now, which is a little bit annoying, hard pill to swallow. But of course, we are going to win these two Dutch Cups. So we are going to take it. We are still winning trophies. That is something we need to make sure we are doing. Now the squad, we are going to be seeing 28 goals for Brian Broby. We've got Akpom coming in with 26, 19 for Berghaus, Bergwijn with 15, 9 and 9 for Taylor, Henderson with 8 and 16, Holzek 6 and five. How many games did he play though to get those stats? Of course, 16. That's not a bad return considering he didn't. all of them games wouldn't have been starts as well. So it's not a bad return to be honest with you. He is purely there to get backup options. Obviously, we are going to look see the likes of where is he? LaCroix, 7.24 average rating, a 7.38 in his last five games. So he's suited the system quite well. Obviously, the best performer overall is going to be um, Akpon, who is a player who a lot of people used to meme, you know, back in the day, but he looks like he's really thriving in this system. Like I said, he's got the finishing. He is playing in a shallow striker role, so he can definitely hack it. And he put up some really good stats. As you can see, 23 goals, tw 7 assists in 29 games. It's a very, very good return. And overall, what I'm seeing from this team is a nice mixture of assists and goals being scored. Going into that next season, we are going to have a budget of £16 million, which is a little bit harsh in my opinion, but it is Dutch football, not the most money to be spent in that league at all. So we are going to see what we can do. And again, going over to the team, I have gone and pre-planned a sort of scouting shortlist. So I will go and show you that right now. These are going to be who I want to bring in. And as you can see, it's heavily midfield based. And that is because if we go back to the tactics page, filtered by the best 11 right now, we are going to be having Mansvert, Taylor and Henderson. Now, obviously, I'm not going to include Akpom in there because he's more of a striker than he's a midfield field player but we have got as backup we are going to have the likes of van der boomen as a player i've been talking about a lot we've got wrench we've got midditch and also we've got one more other option there but i feel like the quality in the backups aren't that good to be honest with you and of course we are going to try one day to try and move on jordan henderson he is 34 years of age so i figured on this short list we're going to have the likes of lucas sucic from rb salzburg a player who i do sign a fair bit but can go into that mezala role really suited though he's got the passing he's got the dribbling he's got the movement he's got the acceleration and a real nippy player and to be honest that fee potentially we can meet with an installment they then go and pick up Christos or try and pick up Christos that is going to be from Slavia Prague 13 million pounds so maybe a bit more of a reasonable option he is a player again who could play central midfield and I really like him he's got the passing he's got the work rate he's got the vision he's got a little bit of everything about him he's only 22 and again with that with that transfer fee it's more than doable this next one is going to be a bargain if we can get him it is going to be Salvatore Aspito coming in from Spezia now I've not signed him before he's not the best of the best but to sit in as a sort of DM he's got 14 tackles 
tackling, good marking. He's got good determination. He's got good work rate. He's got good stamina, good fitness. He's not the quickest of the quickest, but again, he doesn't really need to be in this team. So I think he could be a really strong shout and he is literally eight million pounds, hopefully. The next player is going to be a bit more of an expenses option. That is going to be M Miramon, if you say that, from Lille. Now, this is a player who I don't think we're going to be able to land because he's going to be too much. But again, very similar to the previous option, but better at slightly different things. But overall, honestly, between these two, I would go with Esposito. Even though he's three years older, he's cheaper and probably a bit more experienced. And the last one, again, it's going to be one of them which we might get, we might not get, but he's a good option. He's quite young, semi-young, 25 and he's purely cheap. That's mainly the reason we just want to get as many players in as backup into this midfield. He's incredibly well-rounded and could play as a central midfield player, but of course, we are going to scout him before we sign him. But overall, out of this list with a budget we've got, realistically, we're probably looking at one signing unless we can do a miracle with installment. So let's get into season two transfers with a grand budget of £16 million see what we can do. We went season three of the transfers and we do actually land Christos coming in from Slavia Prague. I did decide to go with him a leading um, Bundesliga, Dutch league player, not Bundesliga, at the age of 22. Can play central midfield player or Mazala for us and he looks so good. So hopefully he is going to be a good sign-in. He sent me back a total of £13 million, not a massive investment and definitely one for the future. And we go and land Esposito, not Despacito, Esposito, coming in from Spezia, 24 years of age, and this was the man I wanted. He's going to be a very strong DM and hopefully can really be the anchor point of this team, put in some challenges, win the ball back, and get that ball moving forward because his passing also is very, very good. We did have some freebies going out, obviously on the free. You can see them four players there. Not the end of the world. We didn't want new contracts, so goodbye to those. But of course, going over to the tactics, the team now looks like this, and I am happy. I am liking the looks of this. We are going to be keeping Hato without Dribble Moron. This is going to remain the same, and Lacroix is going to remain the same. The DM is now going to come in as Esposito, a real big addition to the team. We've got Taylor remains in central midfield player. Henderson, I am going to change, and I am potentially are going to have the new man in here. Or we've got the likes of Manswerk, who of course could play in there. Or we've got Van der Boomen. So we've got a lot of options in that area. We've got Bergvine doing his thing. We've got Berghaus doing his thing. We've got Akpom doing his thing. And Broby, who now is being pushed up to an attack and duty to clarify that and what i will say right now is we are going to try and we're going to try it for one more season see how it is with this higher defensive line but i don't want to start being a team who concedes loads 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 against the powerhouses so we're going to give it one more shot if not we can change but the bench as you can see now is becoming really strong window is a player which is gutting because you know he can only play left back i couldn't sell him this season he's essentially going to rot on the bench he's not even going to be registered because he doesn't fit into the system. So we're going to try and offload him throughout the season because I don't want to waste his career and hopefully we can get a little bit of cash for him. But we are going to be playing in five, comp six competitions. Oh, wow. The Dutch League, the Friendly Cup, the Club World Championship. Oh, we're not doubting that one. So it is five. And we won the Friendly Cup. Oh, wow. Didn't even tell you that. There you go. A 3 0 win. So it is still going to be four competitions. Calm down, Josh. The Dutch League, the Champions League, the Dutch Cup and the Johan Cruyff Shield. And they are predicting a finish of evens. Okay, that's the odds. We are predicted first, though. So let's get into Season 3, see what we can do. We are going to start off in the Dutch Cup final against PSV, a very, very strong team. And they get off to a very good start there in 14 minutes played. We do bounce back literally 90 seconds after with Akpom into Bergvon. You can see here the options we've got. So many plays on Broby, funny enough, is right in the correct position to get the goal. It goes all the way to extra time, where unfortunately we lose it in the last kick of the game to a set piece. Once again, we fail to win the league, which does mean we are going to make some tactical changes and I will go through those of course for you. This does need to be happening now because that is not acceptable. That is two seasons back to back. We've just about missed out on the title. But of course, we did play that Super Cup at the start of the season, the Johan Cruyff Shield, where to be fair, Feyenoord got off to a very lively start. Inside of 30 minutes played, we did bounce back here with Hato into Taylor, who's going to drive over the top into Broby, into the back of net absolutely beautiful stuff there. Now, it is going to be LaCroix losing out a bit a bit reckless from him, as it is going to be a great finish from the Fire Fyrenoid forward there. A big mouthful, as we are going to win it back with Holzek in the midfield, into Broby, into Akpom, who has got the finishing of a striker. We are very fortunate to have him at this club. And we are going to wrap it up in 3-2 fashion, a five-goal thriller, Akpom into Satala. We got that out very early in the Champions League and got pushed down to the Europa League when we got to the quarterfinals, but unfortunately lost against Manchester United in 4-2 fashion over both legs. 
And as I said, we are now going to go in with some tactical changes. So I've done them already, and it is going to look a little bit like this. But firstly, we'll look at the squad to see how well we performed this season before the tactical changes. Brian Broby, 30 goals, 19 for Berghaus, Akpom with 17, 10 for Jordan Henderson, 8 for Bergvine, Borges with 6, 5 for Adam Holzek, Hato with 4, 4 for Christos as well. Assist-wise, we've got a lot of players contributing, but there are, there are changes that need to be happening. There are some players who maybe could play a little bit better in a certain system. So we are going to stick with the same tactic, but we are going to change a few things. So firstly, team instructions the standard line is going to be set like this. In transition, it is going to remain the same, so we're not going to change too much. In possession, it is going to remain like this, but now we have gone with a higher tempo to try and match the pace of some of these big teams. The other thing I've done right away is... The back line, we have obviously kept exactly the same apart from the middle as we are now going to have a libero removed. Introduce a ball playing defender on cover, a bit more of a defensive sort of approach because we are conceding quite a fair few goals. Now the DM is going to come in on defend on take fewer risks. So we're going to maintain the same player role but have him on defend because again, I want him to protect that back three. We've got rid of the central midfield player and added a box to box because we're making the DM a lot more defensive and another centre back. So we can afford to be a little bit more attacking in the midfield, which is why we've got now got a box to box who is going to get further forwards and cause issues the Mazala remains the same as does the front four but they're going to be the real core changes and I've already gone out and thought Josh new player role you've got to go and get new players to fit your system and that is what I have done we have got a budget of 56 million big ones by the way so we've got quite a fair bit of money to spend um and this is what we're going to be doing so the shortlist is going to be like this now Honestly, I want this guy. I would love Oscar Glau in the team, but I don't know if he's going to be interested. Hopefully he is. He's a star Dutch player already, and he would be the perfect player. He could play so many roles in this team. It's not just for one role. He could literally play as a shadow striker. He could play as a box-to-box. -box. He, he could play pretty much anywhere as a Mazala. He could play anywhere he wants, to be honest. He's a very versatile man indeed. Diop's a very good winger. Again, I am looking at the wings now for better backup options, and this guy could be a man I go for because, again... He's got what I want. He's got very good passing, fantastic dribbling. He's quite quick on the ball as well. Got a good first touch. He's going to be good at sort of coming inside, picking up the ball, dribbling. Great first touch, passing it. Good technique. He is literally the ideal winger for this system. Luka Sucic, again, is another good player from Salzburg. Obviously, we were interested in him back in sort of season one. We didn't obviously go and get him, but hopefully we can, if we need to resort to him. That sounds like I'm slating him, but he's not a first option, but if we need him, it's not a bad option to go down. We then go out and we actually go to another little player who is going to be another man we looked at, Maria, Maria Ron, Maria Mon, not Maria Ron, Maria Mon. Now, this player is a guy who, to be honest, we don't really need, but it does add an option. Now, I'm not going to say too much about him because I highly doubt we are going to go and get him. But we also have got the other two players we did have in the previous sort of transfer window. So what I'm going to say is the main targets are going to be Suchich, Glau and Diop. But Glau is priority one. Diop's priority two, and Suchic is going to be priority three. The other three players, I'm quite hesitant on signing. But let's get in to the fourth transfer window with the budget of 56 million smackaroonies and see what we can do. We managed to land the man I wanted. That is going to be Oscar Glau, and this now offers so much to the team because he's so, he's incredible. He's such a good player, and honestly, this could change where we finish in the league purely off one player. A baller in the team for 15 million pounds. Just look at him. He's incredible. is not going to be signed, but I'm going to pick up Ruslan Litanov coming in from Spartak Moscow again as a DM. And if we look at him in DM, he offers quite a fair bit. Good tackling, good aggression, good composure, good concentration, good work rate, good stamina reasonably everything you would want for a DM. He can compete for the position as well. He's 24 and just a good option to have in the team. So we are really strengthening this midfield. And if we need him to do so, he can also play as a centre-back. The biggest signer by quite some distance. It is going to cost me £57 million, a lot of money for a 26-year-old Moroccan magician. An absolute baller, as we've discussed. I've said why I want him in the team. I'm not going to say it again. You can look at him and you can understand why, because he is a serious issue. Now, we have had a lot of players leave on the three and they've all gone to the same team have you ever seen this in football manager because it's quite strange to me but adios to those players departing because they were not part of the plans at all now going over to the tactics page we are going to be looking at this so again we've gone through the changes the tactical changes previously this is now the team and boy am i excited we've got rudy we've got lacroix Sotalo, hato esposito we've got zafarius we've got glau we've got berghaus bergvine akpom and brian Bobby. Bobby, broby the bench is now looking very good obviously we've got the backup 
goalkeeper we signed. We've got Amalitinov, we've got Diop, we've got Henderson, Wrench, Taylor, we've got Windau, who still I can't offload, unfortunately. Manswerk, Univar, Van der Boomen, Holzek, Borhe. We've got some really good players. Now, I will say, Diop, I'm not going to lock in, but this guy will get game time. Look at him. He will get game time. It is going to happen, so don't you worry yourselves right there. And hopefully, with these tactical changes and a few more players coming in, we can start to see a bit of a spike in performance. Being said, let's get in to the end of the fourth season and see exactly what we can do. It'll be Starboy Hato who wins us the Dutch Cup final in the 80th minute. And we are back. The tactical mastermind changes has had full effect. We are going to be winning the Dutch League and quite convincingly, a big change from what's happened in the past couple of years. We are going to be your Dutch winners alongside of obviously the Dutch Cup. The Champions League, we still are going to work on. We've got one more season to try and win that and that is a very big ask, but I do think we can do it. That is a very good comeback season. Dutch League winners and Dutch Cup winners, we are going to take it and we're going to head for the high heels. We're going to take that and run. We have been given a budget of £45 million to spend in the last, the last transfer window. And the squad is now playing a bit like this. 33 goals for Oscar Glau. I did say he'd be the star man. I did say it. And he is. 13 assists, 24 goals for Brian Broby. Kenneth Taylor, 15, 14 for Diop. And 21 assists, 13 and 19 for Bergvine. Jordan Henderson, still firing away at the age of 36. And he's been transfer listed for quite some time. He's still putting in performances. You can't knock it, really, can you? Now, highest average rating is going to be Borges, who did get some games, but not really developing that well. Oscar Glau is going to be the man who come in and man. Man, man, man. He literally took over world football. What a performance from him. Diop's then going to get the second. LaCroix, three players we have signed personally by taking a bit more time in these rebuilds to really analyse what we need has paid off beyond you could beyond means we can even imagine it's been such a very good rebuild now the tactics we are going to be looking at this so what we're going to do is i think for this last season i'm going to stick at it because it was really strong like i said we won the league won the cup quarterfinals isn't horrific in the champions league i'm going to go and build a little shortlist i think um and that's what we're going to work on realistically there's a lot of players in here who have earned their position who can stay so we've got to see how we can spend this 45 million i'll come back to you with a detailed shortlist Right, well, since it is the last transfer window, I've gone luxury. I've gone bold, okay? And the first one is going to be Elise. Now, if we can get this out young individual in, he is one of the hottest prospects in world football, I will take him. And you know what's even better? We can get him on the free. So we're going to try and get him on the free. If he's interested, he can come in any single day he wants to. I'll personally pick him up from the airport. If you've been watching the streams, I signed Savio for Fenerbahce. I'll sign him for Ajax. This young man knows a lot about football and he's a serious baller. Hopefully we can get him in as well as well as Elise, that'll be a statement. Of course, we've got some more players here, the likes of Rodriguez, we would not be able to fork out permanently, but if we can get him on a loan, this man could be the definition of a complete forward. He is literally everything I want. If we can get him on loan, this man will be playing for us for at least one season. And if I can get him on loan, I'll only have him on loan if we've got the option to buy him at the end of the season, because I want him in this team. Now, we are going to also consider the likes of Luka Sucic still. It's been a fair few seasons, but he's still going to be fully considered in my decision making just to just to clarify that and we're also going to add the likes of Marco Stamanic the Bayern player now I will say if he does come in we are going to be changing to a deep line playmaker because he is going to suit that role a lot better and it's a big decision to make in the last season so I will be making that with full caution because we might consider a one position change purely for a player which might be too much but I will think about it we are going to have also um, Miramon still in there and obviously Botello from Dynamo Moscow so we've got a lot of players here who could come in realistically between me and you the two players I want Elise and Rodriguez they're the two players let's go make it happen we've made it happen We've made it happen. We're going to have Elise on the free. We did not spend a single penny on this player who's valued at 83 to 100 million. He is on a fair bit of money per week, but this guy can play in the middle, can play on the right, and just look at him. He is such a baller. I'm sorry, Crystal Palace fans, but um, I don't know what's happened, but... 
You've also let me have Eze on the free, which could be what happens if they don't let these players get their big moves in real life. We're going to have him welcoming in with open arms. He can play in Mazala. He can play central midfield. He can even play on the left for us. Now, he is 29. He is older than what some people would give a chance to, but he still has got it. He's not the quickest anymore, but to play in this team, as I've said, you don't need pace. He can play on the left wing, come inside, dribbling, passing, technique, flair, the whole lot. Welcome in Eze on the free. And we've got our man from Madrid, a loan option with the option to buy him for, I believe, £65 million. That is going to be Alvaro Rodriguez. This is a guy I genuinely think can complete, complete this team. He is a real complete forward. And to be honest, he might bench Broby. He might bench Broby. And the man I said I was going to change the tactic for, I do believe in him. I like him. I like what he offers. And I think it could be worth it. It is going to be Marco Stamanic coming in from FC Bayern. 75 grand a week. And he sent me back 27 million pounds. And the tactic now looks like this. Now, surprise, surprise, surprise. Because what's happened is it is going to be no deep line of playmaker because Stamanic can play very well in box to box. So a little spoiler there, a little teaser, which has got sort of gone against the video because I was going to expect to change the entire system, but we actually haven't. But now the team looks nuts. Ruli, Lacroix, Sotalo, Hato, Esposito. Um, we've got Zafarias, we've got Stamanic, Elise, Glau, Eze, Rodriguez. The bench is looking beautiful. We've got the goalkeeper we signed. We've got Litanov, Bergvine, Broby, Wrench, Diop, Holzek. We've got Taylor. We've got Jorge Sanchez. Sanchez, Manswerk, Akpom. We have got Univar still. We have got so many talented players who can play in this team. And I will say we'll do a quick tactic breakdown before the last season. Obviously, we are going to have in possession. It's going to look a little bit like this. It's not a tactic video, so I'm not going to talk for everything. I'll just show you it very quickly. This is going to be the in transition. The out of possession, we are going to rock still with that standard line. These are your player roles, and hopefully this is going to be the tactic and the team that takes me to a Champions League win. Hopefully, it is a lot to ask for the last season. We are playing in four competitions. The Dutch League, the Champions League, the Dutch Cup and the Croix Shield. And they are predicting a finish of first place. Let's go make it happen. Back-to-back -back league winners. This is now when you know we've got the right tactic and the right team because we have absolutely stormed the Dutch League, only losing two games. Come on then. We'll also win the Johan Crow Shield. That's two. And the chance to make it free, a Champions League final against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, we do get a bit of a gift there. Rodriguez, by the way, had a good season, I'll tell you that. Getting off to a very good start there in the Champions League. They do bounce back here with your mouth from Tottenham Hotspur in to Ventura, who does make it 1-1. But we come back, you know how we we do as they out on the left hand side back inside into Rodriguez in the 45th minute and there's time for one more to win the Champions League final Kenneth Taylor Which means the only thing we didn't lift is that Dutch Cup and to be honest I don't care because we have won the Champions League the Dutch League and the Johan Cruyff Shield and our players had a great season and that man I took a gamble on in Alvaro Rodriguez scored 38 goals 10 assists, 22 and 10 for Glau, Elise 19 and 32, 15 and 10 for Stamanic, 13 and 12 for Kenneth, Eze 12 and 18, 11 assists down here for Esposito as well in DM. We genuinely have turned this Ajax team into such a beautiful looking, talented young team who can go and win trophies, put on really good displays against some of the best teams in Europe. What a season it has been. And if you're going to carry on back home, you are going to have a budget of 36 million pounds We've done so much for the club as well, man. We really have history. We've won them a lot more trophies than what they did have. Obviously, out of the Champions League as well, which is no easy ask, and left you with this. Now, I am going to say, if you want this tactic and the rebuild file, you can get them over on the Patreon in one simple download. You get both. Very, very good rebuild and a very good tactic, and also access to over 13 other perks. If you have enjoyed today, I mean the absolute world to leave a like and subscribe. And if you enjoy this format of rebuild, more of tactical side and transfer side, get, the, get this video to 70 likes. Get it to 70 likes. That will show you a lot of love. It would mean the absolute world. I'll be seeing you in the next one.